Hey there, Richard here again. Welcome back to the channel. One of the things that I love to see is when an organisation develops a clear and compelling vision for the future. It's As I've spoken about before, it's such a powerful tool and it can help with team engagement and it can help find the right clients. It's an excellent thing for a business to do. But then the next issue comes is how do we get there? How do we actually get to that vision? You can show your team the vision, you can get them fired up and on board, but then somehow as a team together, you have to be able to get there and you will only get there with the combined efforts of a team of individuals. And that's the, uh, that's the paradox here is that we want to move forward as a business, as an organisation, but the people within our organisation are all different. And this is where a really crucial thing comes into play because if you can help your team to understand their unique skills and abilities, their superpowers, and give them the time and the space to apply those in, in the direction of your vision, that is such a powerful thing. It's, it's unstoppable in, in its ability to take you forward to the vision that you want. You know, I look back on times in my career when perhaps skills and abilities that I've got were not able to be applied correctly because the environment wasn't right or the business didn't want it. And it becomes so frustrating and so disengaging when you're sitting there thinking, I could do so much more and I'm really interested to, to pursue something in this direction, but they just don't want me to do it. They're just not interested. And if that doesn't fit as part of the vision, then that's fine. You know, sometimes the organisation just isn't the right one for you. But if you've got people sitting there and you can help them to understand Ah, these are the things that I bring uniquely to a situation. The, these is, this is the way I perform in a team. These are my unique skills and attributes that make who I am me. And I can see the strengths there and see how those combined can contribute towards the vision. And then you can give them the space, the resources, the time, the encouragement, the coaching to get there. It is such a powerful thing. And there's many, many tools you can use. Two, two very simple ones that I like are Belbin Team Roles is very good, very simple. It looks at the nine roles of people within teams and helps us to understand how we align with those. And there's usually one or two, maybe three, that you're most strongly aligned to, whether you're a leader or whether two different types of leader or whether you're someone that's can spot the rocks in the road and spot the things that will go wrong. It really helps to, to build um, a coherent and, and well-covered team. And then you've got tools like, like Myers-Briggs and those sorts of tools that help the individual to understand who they are. And there's much, much more to it than this. I'll perhaps go into it in future videos. But the point is this, if you can help your team to understand themselves, to understand the gifts, the skills, the superpowers that they have, and get them applying those in the direction of the vision for your organisation. That's such a powerful thing. It really is. So hopefully there's a bit more food for thought for you there. I'm going to follow this up with some more videos to enlarge on that topic because it's so, so important. But in the meantime, do check out the website. Do please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Cheers.